We turn now to IT Mate. New body camera footage in the controversial death of a man in police custody. IT Mate first brought you the story of 26 year old Riker Earl's death earlier this month. News 8's Kyla Russell watched the full encounter and brings us more. Now, Kyla? Yeah, so Riker Earl had two seizures in early September. He was treated for the first one and told he didn't need to go to the hospital. His family then called 911 when he had a second seizure. Tonight, we have police video showing what happened in the minutes before he died. Officers first arrived to the Jasper County house and Riker was still confused after his first seizure. When pulling up his shorts to head to the hospital, things took a turn. Here on the left side of your screen, you can see where his attorney says he tipped over and bumped into an officer. Hey, don't touch the medic. You're going to the hospital. All right, don't hit him. The video shows officers wrestle Riker to the ground. Stand behind your back. Stand behind your back now. Officers brought Riker into a different area of the home. Guys, guys, please. Guys, what are you Get him doing? Over here. We're guys, guys, okay, okay. No, you're coming with us. Come this way. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, I'm going to you. Rome, you? Guys, I'm going to get up. And then they place him in handcuffs. No! No, please. Stop. Please. What's, guys, your, what's please. his name? Guys, Riker? please. Riker? Yeah. Hey, Riker. Riker, can you hear me? The first of three shots are given to Riker. His family says they were sedatives. Guys, please! Guys! Guys, I'm gonna die! No, no. The encounter goes on for another half hour. What do you think you do with us? And police ask Riker to stop moving. Chill, Riker, just stop moving. Yeah. Just stop moving, everything will be all right. Relax. Off of you, bud, we can't. Get off of me. Get off of me. Please. Please. We gotta get off of me. The video shows the next few shots given to Riker before things become quiet and his family asks questions. You need to get him in the recovery position. You okay? Yeah, he's just been fighting us. Officers get him on a backboard and CPR begins. Backboard. All right, so he looks like he's in detail right now. They cut the handcuffs off and he's put on a stretcher and is eventually taken out of the house. The Jasper County Sheriff told News 8 in a statement that his deputies were holding him in such a way that would not restrict breathing. Mr. Earl was vocalizing during the entire incident. Deputies also placed Mr. Earl on his side, also known as the recovery position. Mr. Earl was in an excited state and did not respond to pleas from deputies or his family to remain calm. Sadly, Mr. Earl ultimately became unresponsive, was taken to the hospital and later passed away. Jasper County says state police have taken over the investigation into Riker's death. State police told us they are investigating whether any of the EMS or law enforcement involved could be criminally charged. I'm Kyla Russell for Wish TV. WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for updates.